Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with even more wrestling figures. Well, at least it's not Migo. Well, well, well. Even more wrestling figures. Well, I hope it's not WWE Elite by Mattel Series 8 Super Ultimate Tournament Edition Series because I already covered that. I'm sure you did, asshole. Actually, today, we're taking a look at Storm Collectibles wrestling figures. You'll probably review some Japanese wrestler I've never even heard of. That's highly likely, because this Japanese wrestler is one of the most highly regarded wrestlers on the fucking planet and has been since the 1980s. Jushin Thunder Liger. Who? Oh. I figured, since you started watching WWE in 2008. That's not true, it was 2005. Anyway, the other figures should be familiar to everybody, even you, Mark. Huh? What's that? The other figure today is Hulk Hogan. Boo, fucking boo. Ha, come on, Jess. It's been almost 40 years. Are you still beefing with the Hulkster? Yes, and you should too. The guy's a piece of shit. Hey, don't say stuff like that about a legend. Fuck, Fuck you, you, Mark. Mark. Anyway, I gotta agree with Jesse, the guy's problematic at best, but he's important to the history of professional wrestling and I already have the figure, so... So you're just reviewing the figure to get more views? You're goddamn right I am. Raz Holly, hit the music! Figure collectors should be familiar for Storm Collectibles for their Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and other licenses. Storm is a higher-end figures maker specializing in big, muscular figures that seem to stretch the bounds of reality, which is perfect for pro wrestling figures. Hulk Hogan's on-again, off-again relationship with the WWE can be a burden to some collectors, as it seems in every iteration of WWE figures since Hasbro, Hogan has been a late addition. This can be a boon for some fans, as we've seen other companies get a crack at the Hulkster. It was during one of these off-again periods that Storm Collectibles was able to create a handful of Hogan figures in various costumes. One that caught my eye in particular was a version of the Hulkster from the late 80s. I picked it up, so let's check it out. Alright, so here he is, Hulk Rules, the Hulk Hogan Ringside Collectibles Exclusive, WrestlingFigures.com. Again, come up with a fucking name for your website, guys. Um, we've got Hulk Rules on the top, the signature, and uh, you can see the figure very well in the box. We have a picture of the actual figure here on the side displaying uh, what it looks like, if you couldn't already fucking tell. Um, he does come with extra hands and heads. I have opened this up already um, because his little fucking necklace was all up in his mouth and I thought it looked like shit. And, um, and I wanted to see what it looked like uh, out of the box. He does come with a little stand, you can tell. Um, on the back here, what he looks like, they give you a little example, as if this was going to be sitting on a fucking store shelf somewhere. Really, the only place that you're going to find these things is online at uh, Ringside Collectibles. Um, other Storm figures, I don't know what fucking store they would be at, or why they even have one of these. I haven't gone to too many collectible stores that sell high-end uh, action figures, 
and uh, and I mean like besides like NECA and stuff like that, but beyond that, like I have never seen something like this at Walmart, Target, you know, maybe your local comic book store might have something like this up on the shelf, maybe, um, but uh, I don't know. Let's see what this fucking thing looks like outside of the box. Okay, so here's what he looks like outside of the box. Wow, what a fucking figure. This thing is really, really nice looking and it feels really sturdy in hand. It's, um, he comes with some extra shit. He's got another head um, in which uh, the face is kind of like, I don't, I don't know what's up with this other face. Um, it looks nice. I mean, it looks like who it's supposed to be, um, but uh, why would you, like the face that's on it right now, that face is pretty great. This face, um, not so much. Not not a fan um, of this head, so don't fucking need that. Let's get that out of the, out, off the way. And and, uh, and he comes with some, uh, some grabby hands um, and nothing to grab. Um, I mean, I guess you could tear his shirt a little bit and fucking pose him tearing his shirt if you, you know, you don't want to fucking have a shirt anymore. And then like, maybe you could buy two of these fucking things and then, you know, <laughs> I guess. Um, the shirt does come off, but it is fucking mad tight. And I'm afraid that I might rip it or um, stretch it the fuck out, taking it off. And I really don't need to have it off. Um... Yeah, the body looks great. Um, his skin colors that that fucking Thanksgiving turkey color almost. Um, uh, this is a, this is a based on the 1989-1990 Hulk Hogan, um, especially with the uh, with the this do rag. Of course, they gave him a little bit more fucking hair on top than he had at that period of time. Uh, of course. You know, he probably had something to do with that. He's like, come on, brother. You got to give me a little bit more up top, dude. Don't make me all bald, man. Um, and so there you go. Fucking, he's got a do-rag. And uh, yeah, it's fucking pretty great, man. You can put him in all kinds of poses. He's got, he comes with this little Hulk rules fucking stand. He's got pegs on his feet. Um, he does all sorts of crazy poses and stuff. He doesn't feel like I'm going to break him. Um, it's kind of like a medium softness plastic it's not too hard not too soft it's kind of a matte um plastic it doesn't feel like it's rubbing off or anything like that paint job looks really good the muscles look good the pose he does all the fucking poses you'd want him to do does big fucking bicep pose um you can do one of one of those um like real quick like everything that he can do he can do big fucking bruce lee kick um man this is a pretty great fucking figure it's too bad it's hulk hogan and he's a piece of shit now um but yeah that's that for fucking hulk hogan uh the storm collectibles this thing is really great and if you're a fan of hulk hogan despite you know his him being kind of problematic or whatever i don't i don't find him mad at you whatever um this is not a bad figure to get i know they made this one and they made some haul Hollywood Hogan ones that I wasn't super interested in, um, but I hadn't seen a really cool Hulk Hogan from like 1989, 1990, um, that, that sort of late era, late 80s, early 90s era um, of Hulk Hogan. I've never really seen a figure that I liked a whole lot, and this one actually, actually did it for me. So there you go, fucking Hulk Hogan. Well, looks like that's it for me. You're still here? Get the fuck out of here, you piece of shit! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, before we send Raz Holly to knock you out! Now for something special. Jushin Thunder Liger is regarded as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, junior heavyweight of all time. From his debut in the 80s to his recent retirement, Liger has amassed popularity around the world. He's had a handful of figures made overseas, but to my knowledge, this is the first to be made available in the United States. I picked this thing up soon after it was released, so let's check it out. All right, so here it is from 2020. The Storm Collectibles Jushin Thunder Liger. Um, very, very fucking cool figure that I have actually have not opened up yet. Um, so I don't know exactly how he's packaged in there. And we're going to be able to take a better look at uh, what 
kind of comes inside and how it is packed because I'm, um, you know, I'm sorry, I don't remember how the fucking Hogan was packed, but um, let's take a look at him inside the box. We have the photo of Jushin Thunder Liger on the front. You have his name um, emblazoned, embossed on the front cover here of the box. The name Jushin Liger. It's pretty fucking cool. Ages 15 and up by Storm Collectibles. Little fucking stickers for this, that, and the other along the side of the box. We have a picture of the figure. And on the back, we have a picture of the figure and some, um, some stats some stats, but it's all in Japanese. Um, so any of our international viewers, as if I have any, if you'd like to take a look at that and tell me what it says in the comments, fucking go for it. You probably won't, but I don't care. Here he is on the box here. You have him uh, doing the big uh, muscle pose right here as he is a want to do. We have the fists, we have him crouched. We have him kind of doing a drop kick or kicking back relaxing, I don't know. And he does have a fabric cape. So I am very, very interested in seeing what the fuck this thing looks like outside of the box. Um, got some other stickers and legal mumbo jumbo kind of covering up the other shit. Who fucking cares? Let's take a look and see what Jushin Thunder Liger looks like outside of the box. Okay, and so we can see here that he is uh, packaged with all his uh, stuff. Um, he has, let's count them, eight extra hands besides the two already on his on his wrists there he has some fists he has some grabbing hands some pointing hands some shote chopping hands um yeah pretty fucking cool lots of different uh, uh abilities for him with his hands no extra heads but it's not like you're gonna get too many different expressions out of jushin liger I just want to show you the inside of the box. We have the nice uh, red background on there. And if you're somebody who likes to keep these things inside the package, you know, there it is. Um, these are actually aren't bad. Um, you know, if there was a way, an easier way to display them, it'd be all right to kind of keep these things in the box. But you know me, I like to take the shit out. So let's uh, get this thing completely open and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, so here he is outside of the box. It is Jushin Thunder Liger the greatest junior heavyweight wrestler of all time um, in most uh, reasonable fucking fans opinions um, this guy is fucking amazing looking um, let's come in a little for our little closer look his cape is made of fabric it has a little wire inside so that you can uh, kind of flex it and pose it in different sort of ways it is removable i think you pop the head maybe we do a head pop and uh and then we can see the rest of it here in a second but i'm just, just taking a look at the figure like right out of the box he's really fucking cool really interesting looking wow fucking wow i am so impressed by these things these storm collectibles um if you get them when they come out they're really nice and they're not that expensive. You can get these things somewhere in, in the fucking neighborhood of like uh, $35 to $50. I can't remember exactly how much I spent on this um, and whatever it was. It was fucking worth it. But then once they uh, have kind of like went through their cycle or whatever, these things go way up in price and they end up being... $100, $200, multiple hundreds of fucking dollars. And then in that case, um, your, you know, your, your fucking whatever Mezcos or, or whatever 112s are going to be uh, more the direction to go for things like that. Um, but when, you know, when it comes to certain characters, you're not going to be able to get a Jushin Thunder Liger figure, um, at least at this high a quality of figure, um, for for that price pretty much or for any price anywhere this is a pretty goddamn good figure i'm really glad i got it let's take a look at them uh, i'm gonna fucking try to get this fucking cape off and uh, and see what he looks like um otherwise with his other hands and other shit so all right one okay more. so with the cape removed he looks fucking way cool god damn dude look at this thing so fucking cool 
you've got all the detail here on the costume. Um, the head sculpt looks really, really cool. It doesn't look weird now that we've taken off the cape. Um, because we know that this is a wig or whatever. It would have been neat to have a head that didn't have the hair. The uh, commentary Jushin Liger um, would have been kind of cool to have. <laughs> um, but yeah, otherwise, this is a really great figure. I'm really glad I got him. Um, these Storm figures, the one gripe, the one gripe I kind of have with them, they're in kind of a funky scale. And um, the only way that I know to show you that is to show you a one, uh, a, a 112? Yeah, 112. I'm gonna show you a 112 fucking figure. Give me one second, I'll be right back. So here is Cody. He is a, uh, an AEW figure. He's one, uh, 112 figure. He is in the scale, the same scale as your Marvel Legends or whatever. I do have Marvel Legends, but they're downstairs. And fuck you, I'm not running down there to, to fucking grab a figure just to show you this. Um, and this is a little bit better because they're both wrestlers. Um, yeah, so the, the Storm figures are a bit more like chunky and cartoonish looking, um, which isn't the worst thing in the world. The main problem with that is that when you're looking at all your other action figures, they're gonna be way bigger and, and way uh, into a different scale. Um, these are more in line maybe with the WWE Mattel figures, but they're gonna be short. Um, they're going to be a little shorter um, because I think they're kind of in that uh, 112 scale as far as height goes, but then they're bigger, they're thicker, they're chunkier. Um, so the chunky figures, that's what they do. At Storm, they make chunky action figures. Um, and they're cool, they're really fucking cool, but they're really only in scale with themselves. So if you can deal with that, um, I would recommend these to anybody that's looking for, you know, cool fucking wrestling figures. They also make uh, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, um, different fucking licenses like that. There is a Mike Tyson figure um, that we're actually going to see here later on on another episode. But uh, so for now, this figure is really, really cool. Um, you know, finally, I, I, I really like it. I, I don't regret buying it at all. Um, it's, it's a really great buy. I just wish there were more figures in this scale um, to, to kind of go with them. Um, Cause you know, just to kind of stand them all up, line them up on, on a shelf or something like that. It'd be kind of cool to have everybody in the same scale. Um, right now it's just a bunch of Hulk Hogan's and Jushin Liger as far as wrestling is concerned. But there he is, Jushin Thunder Liger. Okay, one more thing, one more thing. I was taking some photos, and before we wrap up today, I know we weren't talking about fucking Mego, but I was taking some photos and I had this out, and god damn it, god fucking damn it, this thing, it's still bothering me. It's still fucking, and it's my show, and I'll talk about whatever the fuck I want. Th this thing is still bothering me. What the fuck, Mego? What the fuck were you thinking with this goddamn thing? Oh, why? 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 Why are you getting bigger arms or bigger legs? Like, you gave him these little skinny fucking regular arms on this, like, fat body. Like, they make the body a little bigger, the shoulders wider, the fucking arms bigger. It would have matched this big fucking ridiculous goddamn head. You would have, I mean, it wouldn't have made up for the fucking terrible sculpt. But, but, at least fucking as a whole, it would look fine. At least if you squinted, it would look fine. But as it is, every single part of this fucking figure is just it's terrible. It's t zero, zero out of five. Well, that's it for this episode. What did you guys think of these figures? Let us know down in the comments. Yeah, and tell this guy you wanna see more wrestling videos. Whatever comes to mind, let us know. Anyway, for Jess and that piece of shit Mark, I'm Dan Classic, and we'll see you next time on the Dan Classic Show. Raz Holly, hit the music!
Shut up, Duke. Dang. 